another fucking blooper. Hey guys, it's Ashley. It's another wonderful Monday here on Girl Zone, and it's DIY week. And you know what that means? Ashley is gonna teach you how to do something. Yeah. So since it's DIY week, I decided to try something I've never done before, and. A few weeks ago, I filmed myself making tie-dye shirts, and my footage is acting weird, and that's why we didn't upload last week. So, sorry to all the other girls, and for the viewers, and the subscribers, and all that. I'm super sorry, that's all my fault, and I take full responsibility for that, so I'm sorry. But, since I still have that footage, and it's still not working, I've tried everything, I promise, I just decided to go into Walmart and just make something not fair but you know bring it over here to make and I saw a mason jar and I thought I could do something with this so I decided to do a dream jar and a dream jar is like mostly for the new year so it's wishes and dreams that you want to follow you into the new year and stuff that you wish would come true as dreams are most streams you have, you want them to come true. So that's what I'm going to be doing for you guys today. So all you'll need is this. A mason jar that I got for a dollar something at Walmart. They have them in clear too, but I saw the blue and I saw an opportunity and I was going to take it. So. Yeah, it's pretty deep for all my dreams and wishes, so... $1.97 at Walmart. I don't know if they have it anywhere cheaper, but Walmart, I was just there. Glitter to fill the jar with. I wanted to use silver, but um, the one at Walmart was way too expensive for a whole bunch of glitter that I'll probably never use again. So I'm just going to mix colors and use this glitter here. Paper, which I'm using copy paper, you can use lined paper, whatever you want. And a pen to write down your dreams and wishes. So, let's get started. Okay, so to get started, we're going to have our mason jar there. Open up your glitter, if you have glitter, just skip this step, it's okay. So, this glitter is bluish. Looks a little, so I want it to be silvery, but it looks a little bit bluish, but whatever. It's okay, and I have some pink and some green, and that was all just a dollar, so definitely. And I have some slivers of the paper, and I have my pen and scissors, just in case I want to cut my stuff down. So, take your mason jar, and... It's so cute, isn't it? Like, wow. So take your glitter, open it up, and we don't need the little things, and we're just gonna pull this in. And because I want it more full, I'm going to add the other colors. So I'll use half of some pink. and half of some green. And I'm gonna mix it all up. Put your, your lid back on your mason jar so that the glitter covers all around the jar as well. With the glitter all around, so, um, I'm just going to write some simple dreams down, like, get I want to get a job. So, I'm just going to cut this down a little bit. You 
can also put a lot of other stuff in your mason jar. You can put feathers, um, ribbon, anything you want, really. I'm just keeping it simple with the glitter. I'm also going to do people that I want to stay in my life in 2014. So I'm going to write my best friend's name down. I have my people and my wishes that I want for myself in 2014 and this is just a few like I can I want a whole lot more so um, but this is just for now and I'll add before 2014 and you guys can add until 2014 and yeah so let's add our stuff so just put it in their hole and Stuff it in there. And why not put some more glitter on top? Because glitter makes the world go round. So let's and shake it up so that all your wishes get mixed up in the glitter. And real quick before you finish, take one sliver that you didn't use and simply write okay well if I can show you just write dreams um, I'm obviously not going to use this paper because it looks like that but and just put it there so that you can remind yourself what um, what you made this for and so you can even give this to your friend and without the pieces of paper and just ask her or him to fill it up with whatever they want and yeah. So guys, I'm done with my dream jar, and if you guys made some along with me, which would be really cool if you did, um, post a video of you doing this, or tag it on Instagram with hashtag girlzone dream jar, and I'll look through the tags and see what's what you guys made. And maybe even tell me a few of your wishes in your description. Or if you do do the video, um, I'll definitely watch it. Just leave it as a response to this video. And I hope you guys really do make some of these because this is the coolest thing I've ever made. Well, yeah, but I really do hope that the things I did wish for do happen for me. And it's not just going to happen. You do have to go out there and make these things happen. So... That's it for this week on Girl Zone, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe, and definitely do this dream jar because it was honestly a blast. And it was it was like less than five dollars, honestly. It was it was like two, three dollars. So guys, come on, come on. But um if you do do the dream jar, please leave a video response or do the Instagram thing that I said. And follow me in all my links below and I'll follow you guys back. And I'll see you guys next Monday. Peace out, Girl Scout.